So hey out there guys, this is my Saturday, yeah, not very exciting. Oh, I was gonna get up this morning and go down back down to the creek, you know, grab a cooler full of beer and just hang out there all day, but I wasn't feeling too good last night and this morning man I got up washed up and everything six o'clock. I wanted to head out of here by seven, but I got up, showered up, got dressed, and went back to bed. I just uh, got like a stiff neck. Couldn't sleep last night. Huh? I think it's all the mosquitoes out here. We got this mosquito problem out here. Got that West Nile virus thing going on. Maybe that's it, huh? So I'm stuck here now. I might as well do some work. Uh, going to the going to do the Mojave Trail next weekend. Uh, so anybody wants to tag along, you know, send me a little message somewhere. Find me on Facebook and uh, meet us out there on the trail. I'm not sure who's going or how many people, but just tag along. Um, I got this battery isolator to install. Okay, this is from Blue Seal uh, Blue Sea Systems. Really good stuff marine grade quality you know everything's got a quality stamp on there signed by the guy who put it together uh, you know epoxied and uh, electronics and sealed issue I'm having is I'm not sure how to hook it up oh, by the way you can find this on Amazon this was uh, rated for uh, alternators up to 120 amps and it's uh, like 135 bucks, but I think it's well worth it. It looks like it's a well designed. And it basically shows on the packaging here. See, got the engine over. Oops, engine over here. Your fuse block over here to my accessories, and then on the bottom you got your two batteries: start battery and uh, char uh, house battery. That something's got to mount up, and this thing takes up a lot of room. I think I'm gonna have to cut another piece of plywood and put it on the side, you know. Now, I also got some string LEDs. I had bought some from um, Pet Boys, and they're a piece of crap. I tried hooking them up, and they just I, I ripped them out and tossed them. Um, so where I, I found these at superbrightled.com, $16 for this kit, okay? But it comes with everything you need. I, I'm not having to piece it together like I was the the lights from Pet Boys, okay? This comes with two strips of lights. These are just white. You can get them any color you want, okay? Rated for outdoors. They're UL approved. It's got little UL stamps on them. Okay. It comes with a little switch. I mean a real switch, a toggle switch. It comes with a fuse holder. It comes with those little taps for tapping into an existing power source. Okay. It comes with some wire nuts, a 2 amp fuse, and some wire uh, tie ties, what do you call ties? Zip ties. Three zip ties. I think that's a good deal, so I bought two, two sets for each side of the doors and then one for the back door. And these are for exterior lighting. Yeah, I wanted some exterior lighting, but I didn't want big old bright lights, you know, I don't want big old spotlights or nothing like that. Just something nice and metal, just enough to see when you're there at camp. You know, I don't want to look like a searchlight out there. Everybody can see it from miles away. So I got uh, ambers and I got cool lights. And I'm thinking of mounting them on the door, the interior door. So when the doors open, they're shining out this way. So, if like I said, it's Saturday. This is going to be my fun in the sun. I tell you, I'd rather be down at the creek right now. But you know what I should have done? Gone out and got some beer and a cooler. Now if I got to go somewhere, I got to put everything away just to get a cold one. 
I guess it's just lemonade for now, right? Holy smokes, finally got some shade from the tree here. Well, this is going slow, you know, it's about routing wires and all that stuff. This takes a lot of time. I've had people ask me, hey, could you wire my wires for you? Heck no. This is a day long project. Now, maybe a guy with a lot of experience can just blow this right out, but me, you know, it's like, okay, what are we going to do? I have a tendency to overthink things sometimes, but you know, I'd rather think once. You know, it's like a measure once, cut twice, no, measure twice, cut once. So, anyway, I got some things done here. I still don't know what to do with that last wire. It don't really make sense to me how this is going to work. I'm not sure how that relay is going to work in there. See, the relay is the box on the side wall over here. That automatically shuts off and on for charging the batteries. So it's like, okay. Anyway, I can't hook it up because I don't have fuses. It takes a fuse on each leg, so I need minimum of 100 to 125 amp fuses. I don't got those, so that's kind of dead out of the water. But there's a relay in there, and I don't know what actuates the relay. I'm looking at the picture here, it has a wire coming off the ground. So, you know, I really don't know. Grounds. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see if this makes any sense here. So, uh, this bright red wire here is coming off the switch. Okay. That's feeding my main power to my little circuit breaker right here. Okay my inverter and everything else back here so I got a wire off my new battery that's this big one right here O gauge coming off the battery in the back of the truck so those come in and tie together on this switch when I turn it on manually turn it on I got a connection there powered by the battery in the rear of the truck okay so that's basically what the switch does it manually switches everything if I give it another turn, it hooks both batteries together. The, what they call the house battery, the one in the back of the truck, and the battery in the front of the truck. That's just in case I should need power to start. That extra battery in the back. I can combine the batteries just to get me started. Boom. Right, so that's what the switch does. So I need the power coming in from the battery in the front. So that's this one. That'll go hooked up to there. Oh, it takes, yeah. So this, this relay up here also combines the batteries together, but only during charging while the motor's running. So like I said, I'm not too sure, how does that work? Picture shows a little relay like switch in there. Yeah, automatic charging relay. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go run and get some fuses, see if I can find some 100 amp fuses and I mount them down here and then I got to measure and cut more wire to hook these up in here off this relay. See the relay? See the bolts here? One in, one out. I'm pretty tired out. 
I guess it's time to put things away. Maybe go get myself a cold one. I think I'm gonna need some more battery terminals, you know, the crimp on terminals. Uh, I don't got any here, but something like that. I got some copper or uh, copper ones for batteries, uh, but I'm, I think I'm gonna need two more. And then there's a third wire that goes to here, and I'm not sure how to wire that. I don't see the need for it, or actually what it does. Here they got a picture of an outboard motor, right? Oops, where are we at? You see the outboard motor there? And then it's got the wire. Where are we at here? Let me turn this thing so I can see. Yeah. It goes to the disconnect switch. Okay. There's my start battery down there. Okay, I got a wire wire off my start battery. Comes up to the switch. And then I gotta run another wire back to the motor. I already got a motor start. Uh, isn't isn't there a, a leg off the battery going to the starter already? I still got to wire my negative wire to the battery too. I better make sure I got the terminals for those. I think I may have some O gauge wire left over. I'm not sure, but uh, see, this is red. I need some black. I may have to use this and paint it black. 